Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to WWJ Whipping with Joe. I uh, got a check in my mailbox today, and uh, today is a Sunday. And I checked the status of my reel here. I bought a, a clash, uh, thanks to four people who donated to my site. Um, that was Ruben from San Francisco. Thank you, Ruben. And Alfredo from Yonyon, Riyonyon. Uh, Ralph from Kali, Oahu. And uh, Sarah from Fort Carson, Colorado. Uh, thank you very much for donating to my website, uh, WWJ Whipping with Joe. And uh, your request was to try a pen. So, this pen clash, 5000 retails for about uh, maybe but me, uh, less than $180. And uh, I think probably it's 179 on the web. Um, uh, this is one of the newest one, I guess. Newest one came out. Um, and we'll do the specs of this thing. Clash 5000. The specs, specifications, the gear ratio is 5 to 6 to 1. So that's 5.6 to 1. Uh, faster than I'm used to. Normally I mine 4.7, 4.8. I'm, I'm comparing this with the Spheros, which is my go to wheel. And it says here mono, you can put 20 pound test, 135 yards. And braid, uh, you can put 40 pound and 240 yards. So uh, we're putting 50 braid in here. And uh, we're going to put 30 pound backing for about 125 yards. And I mean 100 yards. And then the back top would be about 125 with 50 pound braid. So I can compare the spheros. Um, this is a full metal body, it says. And all this uh, HT 100 carbon fiber drag washers, eight bell bearings, it says. Instant anti reverse, heavy duty aluminum bill wire, that's what I know, it's huge bill wire. And um, line capacity ring, ring rings. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna see what we got here. Came in the middle on a Sunday, I'm surprised we got delivered on a Sunday. So here we go. Put this knock down here, which is my. Famous here, okay, into the bag here. Get this bag out. Get the wheel out there. Yeah, very nice. Clash. Yeah, it's got a interesting, interesting. Well, it's loose here. Look at that. It's got a hole in it. Same as here, got a hole in it. You can see the bearing or the nut. And um, they got sealed bearings according to this. I'm not sure what's under the rotor this is my concern uh, if there's a cap over this rotor here when you take this out there's a cap and then you prevent the water from going inside here and dropping into the gearbox which is the stratix they, the, i compare this to shimano because that's what i had shimano ci uh fi the uh, ci4 and the fj stratix they were all when you re remove the rotor like i said there's no cap you've got the shaft and then you've got the pinion gear and the clutch mechanism, and then you've got the gear. So if water goes inside here, it goes all up to the top, comes down, then it goes in the gearbox. That's, that's why my Stratex didn't last long until I went to the Spheros. Spheros has a cap under the rotor. So that's one advantage. Like, so I don't know about this in here. I'm going to have to look at the schematic. But anyway, crank smooth. I think it's a little heavier than the 6000 and bigger than the Spheros 6000. Capacity about the same. I like the build wire, extremely huge. And this one here you have to crank, so you you you, uh, you crank it and uh, it, it goes down. So like like the uh, the spheres, and the, uh, you have to go in up, throw it up, crank it down. Um, so we've got the um, Shimano F gear that's coming too, so it should be in the next couple of days. But we're gonna test this one out. So anyway, what's in the bag here? We've got uh, I'm not sure what this one's for. Something uh, must be washes for the. Spacers for the, your spool, and then this is your uh, brochure. So put that back in there, very simple. Okay, now what I've noticed about this one here is that because uh, I had a battle, and the battle problem was see, we've got this is my one of my favorite rods, HMG, HMX, and you will notice that this is too small. This is one of the problems I've seen. Um, is that uh, the, the foot here the foot here is, is too wide 
so it doesn't fit in the Fenwick. So now that that deters um, that deters me from using a Fenwick, or I can't. Uh, you can use a four thousand, but this is a five thousand. So five thousand bigger, you you won't fit in the Fenwick. That's so that's what I've learned. So we're gonna have to go back to two other rods that I have. I have the same coil, which is not uh, my liking, but because this will fit, the foot will fit. The foot will fit right in here. I've already looked at this here, I think. Oops, this is the seven foot rod, St. Croix. This retails for about $180, very twice as much as a Fenwick. Um, okay, so we got this tight here, looks like it's good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna do this, we're gonna try this thing tomorrow here. And like I said, we're gonna put 50 pound braid here. You should have close to 200 yards. And we're gonna try whipping with this thing. Uh, looks like it bounces pretty well. But uh, we'll see how this one works. Again, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see if this will uh, suffice for a lot of people who ask me about the clash, if I went with the clash or not. And well, I have here. So we're going to whip this out tomorrow if the weather is good. Again, thank you for watching. WWJ Whipping with Joe. And for you who have donated to my website, thank you very much. And for those who have watched my videos, thank you. And uh, Hopefully uh, you enjoy my videos and uh, I appreciate that very much. Okay. Aloha. From the island of Kauai, Hawaii.